Hi, welcome to Warren Works. Today is another video in my 52 cards in 52 weeks challenge. Last week I drew a six of hearts, so today we're going to be building a cannon. So I used this little piece of bronze to start, and I chucked that up in my lathe. And the first thing I wanted to do was get a nice center hole, so I'll use a center drill in my chuck. And just drill a little, tiny little hole to start, and then I can send in an actual drill bit and begin boring this cannon out. I had to send the drill bit all the way in to get the full depth, and then I used this longer drill bit, and this is 3 16 which was the final diameter that I was going for. And I just had to kind of go in and out to clear the chips because uh, because of the depth that I was drilling. I think the total depth was around three inches. And you can see I just had a little mark on the drill bit. Once that was done, I could just chamfer the edge. I'd just do that with a, uh, a chamfer bit. Okay, so here's what we're working with here. I think the, this would be easier if I just draw it out. So let's say that's our bore right there. That's 3 16 of an inch. Now I want a pocket behind that that's a little bit narrower. To machine that pocket, I need to use a smaller diameter drill bit. The problem is most of my drill bits that are smaller are pretty short. So what I've done here is I've just, I've got just a little bit in the drill chuck here. And I'm just gonna hope that that works. It's in there pretty solid. I don't need to drill much. I only need to drill maybe about a quarter inch of depth. I need to drill it all the way in the the very end of this, so I'm going to use as much of that drill bit as I can just to get back in there. So drilling that deep worked out just fine. Uh, no issues there, and then I could move the part out, and then I could use the tailstock with a live center to support it. And then I just marked how far back I wanted the machine. It was around four inches, something like that. And then I could just begin machining. So I cleaned up the whole piece and then I set my compound to just a few degrees because I wanted a bit of a taper on this little cannon that I'm building. So I machined this little recess and then just using the compound I can go in and out uh, just taking a couple thou at a time. So after a bit I'm left with a nice little taper and I wanted to detail this thing out to make it look like a uh, kind of a classic cannon. I don't really know cannon terminology too well but I wanted to leave the ridges in so I machined those in and uh, just kind of went from my head of what I thought a cannon was supposed to look like. I was really just having fun here. I wasn't going off of anything. With the front mostly shaped out I can move on to the back and the back I wanted a nice little radius and I actually built a ball turning attachment a while ago. And I thought about breaking it out here, but for just this one little piece, I decided to just try and freehand it and see how I did, which is kind of tricky, and it actually ended up working out pretty well. I was happy with how that, that worked out. You can see a little better here. All I really did was just run the tool right up against the edge until I kind of found the radius I was looking for, and then I tried to do a bit of a finishing pass here, just going really slow, to get that shape as close to a radius as I could just by hand. And then I took a file to all the flat surfaces just to file out all of the machining marks. And then I did it the same thing with a smaller file over the little ridges uh, just to kind of true everything up. And once that was done, I could use a little bit of sandpaper to just refine it a little bit farther. I thought that I was going to add kind of a funky detail to the front, but I liked the way it looked here, so I ended up just parting off that first half inch or so. I can move the belt over to speed the machine up so that I can take a nice finishing pass off of the front. With that done, I can slow the machine back down and part the whole cannon off of the rest of the piece of stock. Oops, that's what I didn't want to do. So I have these couple of aluminum soft jaws that I made up a while ago and I can stick those on the jaws so I don't mar up the bronze. And that way I can mount the cannon in backwards and I can clean up the back side of that radius and I'll just do that with a file. Uh, changing the speed again to speed the machine up after parting it. 
just truing that up with a file that works out really well and then a little file just to refine the last couple little details and now I can swap over my chuck I took the three jaw chuck off and put the four jaw chuck on this allows you to mount odd shaped parts or just about any kind of part you can mount in a four jaw chuck and I have some soft jaws for this too which I stick in there and I wanted to bore the little hole in the back so I got this as close to center as I could I pretty much just eyeballed this because this is really just a prop it's not anything that needs to be um, super precisely machined but I was able to stick a drill bit in to use that as kind of my center mark that I was going for and I have this little tiny center drill that I'll put in my drill chuck these are great for starting holes because they have a really narrow tip so it's a lot less likely to break off especially for these real small ones they're a lot better than just trying to go straight in with a little drill bit that might snap and then once that center hole is drilled it's easy to go in with just a regular twist drill and then i can drill the rest of the hole that way And with the cannon done, I wanted to machine a couple little wheels for the stand. And for that, I just used the same piece of bronze. Uh, nothing fancy here. I just pretty much left it to its same diameter. I just trued up the edge so it was nice and shiny. Then I faced that off so I had a nice flat surface. And drilled a hole and then just parted these all off. So I'm going to run a parting tool to part off to make a couple of these little wheels. So when using a parting tool, it really wants to be exactly 90 degrees to the part. So what I like to do is retract my parting tool so it's not in the way, and then I bring it right over to the face of the chuck, and I just slide it right up against that. And that's going to be perfectly square because the face of the chuck is perfectly square. Hold the cross slide so it's tight against there, and then just tighten it down. And then that makes that set up perfectly 90 degrees and it takes about 5 seconds. So now I can just push this out a little bit and tighten that down. And now I can part that off. I just want it so that screw sits just below the surface, and it does, so that's perfect. Not a perfect mirror polish, but I think that looks pretty nice, and I got my fingerprints all over it. A couple of little machining marks still, but that's okay. On to making a stand, I started with just this little block of walnut. And then I could just kind of rough that out. I just cut a taper on the walnut. I just ran it through the bandsaw. And to clean that cut up, I went over to my disc sander and used my nice new disc sanding rest. That was last week's video, if you want to check that out. The link will be below. And then I can move over to carving this out. I started with just a Japanese saw, cutting a little recess. And then I mostly just used some hand tools, some chisels and stuff to carve out a spot for that cannon to sit in. Again, I'm not doing anything too fancy here. I'm just kind of going by eye, just chiseling this out until it fits, putting the cannon in place, seeing where I need to take material off, and using a little scraper to scrape out some material. And um, then I cut out these little ridges. That way it kind of locks in there or that was the idea at least and I could just use a little eighth inch chisel to carve out a little a little groove for that a little notch just so those those ridges on the cannon sit right in there and that worked out pretty well and then I took just one of these little sanding blocks from Rockler that have a radius on it and that just kinda cleaned everything up made it look a little nicer and with all that done I can kind of shape the stand for this again I'm just kind of having fun and making it look 
however I think looks right. I'm not going off anything here, just all coming out of my head as I'm working. And then for the wheels, I just used a little uh, Vix bit to center those up. That was kind of in the way of the camera, unfortunately, there, but that's all I used. Just a little centering drill bit. And those work out great. And then I can screw in the, the wheels. Actually, I put finish on first. Let that dry for a few minutes because lacquer dries quick. And I used some paste wax to lubricate the screws going in because there wasn't a ton of meat there. So I wanted them to go in nicely without, without splitting the wood. That's not what it's supposed to do. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, that was a failure. <laughs> Did the cannonball even shoot? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was certainly a fun little project. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to pick up my card for next week's video. What do we get? Two of diamonds is squeeze clamp storage. I do need storage for these. So that will be next week's video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you for watching.